Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Barong Machete from Cold Steel. The item comes in a clear see-through plastic bag and the only paperwork is this part on top. Uh, we see on the left side the Cold Steel and there the Barong Machete, classic Filipino design. Full tank construction, that is really important, not that you have the problems like I had with the Gerber gate or machete that breaks breaks and uh, we have 10 55 carbon steel blade with black baked on finish the sheet is a Cordura style sheet it's always good that a machete comes with a good sheet and the handle is a poly handle then on the back side we just have a bit of advertising about the different other machetes. Some of them I did already test out. There are not all of the cold steel machete made in uh, South Africa. You need to look on the coldsteel.com website. Uh, some are unfortunately made in China and the made in China ones I would not suggest I did test out. out as well but the South African made ones are for sure the better deal. Uh, I use those machetes now in USA for quite a long time and in different variations because the here in North Georgia the, the bush and the, the trees are that that uh, thick it's basically like a black forest on a bigger scale. So as we come to the Barong style machete. I did want to have one of those Barong style items for a long time and now finally I saw a deal on that item so I got it. Uh, the size is relatively big. I think the original ones or most of the original ones were a bit smaller. We have to see this is marketed as a machete so they go a bit a bit a longer blade but it still is pretty pretty uh, nice and effective uh, we have a, yeah a pretty point that is quite likely one of the machetes or or knives that they have with a heck of a of a point usually the machetes are a bit less pointy because you need all the weight you can have in a uh, front of the blade to whack so we're gonna see how that works this is just a unboxing video that is brand new I did not test it out yet we have to march it in anyhow so we start with a bit of a tip and then it gets thicker the maximum we have in about this middle middle section here and then it tapers down again like by the tip to form the tang uh, so the, the sweet spot is right about here. That's not too far forward. So we're going to see how well that works because of the length of the blade. That still should whack pretty good. Uh, thickness is around 3 mm of the, the steel blade. Typical for the machete. We have on this side no tank stamp. On the other side, I need to turn that a bit around. Uh, maybe the camera is going to see it. It says Cold Steel, South Africa. That is really nice. And then we have the big style handle. Uh, we see in the... Uh, no, that is plastic. Uh, we see the whole of the injection molded handle there is not completely straight through there. I did think that is uh, metal from the full tank but thank god it is not so it will not rub on a paracord lanyard or something like that or you simply can drill it out that's what I gonna do to have a straight hole and then chamfer the edges a bit there is simply nothing done on the on the edges but for that low price and that high quality that they deliver that is already a really good deal we have that ergonomic style handle uh, that gives you a nice hook here so that the hand really gonna gonna get in in the grip as you gonna use it 
that is a uh, pretty nice done there how they how they did that originally by those Filipino people that did use the, the item that did uh, that uh, they did design it that way we have the groove here in front uh, no idea for what that is exactly or if that is more like a decoration uh, or something uh, you could use that also as a base for a paracord maybe if you want to make a d-guard kind of kind of loop around the item as well so that would help too to the sheet that's a typical design from cold steel. We have on the bottom the part that is revetted on on both sides to make it a bit more stronger. There the, the Cordura material all is revetted uh, together. And then the belt loop is really nice uh, sawed on as well. Uh, the, there is no liner in it much it's a, a cordura material with a bit of a plastic inside a thinner more flexible plastic it's not like a kydex and uh, on top we have the usual snap uh, design the belt loop is really big so even the biggest belt should fit that that should not be a uh, a problem at all you can always make that a bit smaller if you want to uh, glue it or saw something on it uh, what is missing is a point where you can uh, put on a cord for around your leg if you want to do that uh, this is the back side here what I gonna do is I gonna loop a piece of paracord in here that it comes out that way here and then glue the whole thing in there so we have a loop here and the loop coming out there so that gives me then two points more to uh, put on uh, another string of paracord for a carry or for backpacking so I can put the sheet on top on something and on the bottom as well to uh, keep it from flapping around uh, that is easy to do those items here are not not uh, collectible that is more for using so we can improve it a bit also uh, what is a bit uh, not too nice is the grinding line here we see there they slipped a bit we see the bottom one goes to here the top one goes to about there so I'm gonna rework that part a bit that will work as a tool it's just if you gonna resharpen you would like to have a bit a uh, sharper edge where the the sharpening stone actually would start on the item so I do that quick on the grinder you just need to make sure not to overheat the steel that that is at least a little bit a uh, better starting point or end point with the with the resharpening Hone then afterwards but that is easy to to be uh, do no problem at all I also gonna paint the, the blade with a additional layer of, of uh, paint uh, the carbon steel is well protected with that finish here I just want to have it more matte black and also uh, this is carbon steel so uh, the part that is exposed gonna be able to rust because there is no protection if you're not gonna gonna grease it or put something over it so I usually always simply paint the blade all over it and then I use it and then I clean it a bit up and paint it again all over it for put in storage after the, the resharpening and finish that works so far here in the relative wet or who meet uh, North Georgia mountains the best yeah so that much about the cold steel barong machete <laughs>